Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie. I am Tom. Ooh, we've got a TLC unit here, and we're going to be talking about this show called Hayden Quinn, South Africa. This is a country I should say I've never been to.、Um, it looks fascinating.、Uh, he's actually not from South Africa, though. He's an Australian chef. He's also an adventurer, somebody who likes to go on adventures. It can be an adventure going to countries you've never been to and meeting new people. You never know what you're going to run into.、Um, I have to warn you all: there are some、uh, names in this、uh, unit that are kind of hard to say. So get used to it. We'll do our best.、Uh, if you watch the show, you'll hear more of these names、uh, pronounced. So that should help you a little bit. But Woo! I think some of these are really tough to say. <laughs> right, but you'll probably only hear them here or on this TV show. So unless you're going to South Africa to do business or to study, I wouldn't worry too much about mispronouncing these words. But、uh, you know, we're supposed to try our best to pronounce them correctly. So <laughs>、yeah. we'll give it the old college try. So let's get to it, everybody. Let's read the entire contents of today's lesson, and we'll be right back. Imagine a place where you can see a fiery sunset over mountains and beaches, take a stroll among rainbow-colored houses, and enjoy the tastes of many cultures. South Africa has all this and more to offer, and in the TLC show Hayden Quinn South Africa, you can journey along to discover the best food and fun in this amazing country. In the show, we join Australian chef and adventurer Hayden Quinn. As he travels through South Africa, learning about not only its culture and food, but also its thriving sustainable food communities, Aiden begins his journey in the city of Cape Town, famous for its lively beaches and majestic mountains. Right away, he heads to a market situated in an old biscuit mill, where business owners from around the area sell street foods and groceries made with all local ingredients. Next, Hayden heads to the neighborhood of Buekop. Despite originally being constructed for the Dutch by Indonesian prisoners and slaves, the colorful houses in this charming neighborhood are now owned by the builders' descendants. Here, resident and chef Zaini Misbach teaches Hayden how to make babuti, an oven-baked dish containing eggs, milk, beef, and plenty of spices. The next day. Hayden visits where on Yezek City Farm, a large volunteer-based community garden. After collecting some zucchini there, Hayden takes a cable car to the top of Table Mountain, one of the new Seven Wonders of Nature, which offers a spectacular view of Cape Town. There he does some mountaintop cooking, preparing a Mediterranean-style yellowtail sashimi dish. With olive oil and some fresh vegetables, including his zucchini. Finally, Hayden enjoys a beautiful sunset at Camps Bay, a perfect end to his stay in South Africa's mother city. Okay, guys, let's get started.、Uh, we're actually following the adventures of a chef. So you're going to see a lot of food. I love the food shows on TV.、Um, whether they're cooking, you know, in a kitchen or outside, cooking some exotic stuff. I just love cooking shows. So this host is named Hayden Quinn. He's actually Australian. He's not from South Africa, which is an interesting English accent, I must say. They have their own language as well, which is kind of fun.、Uh, there's a famous、uh, actress, Charlize Theron, who is from South Africa and actually speaks the language. If you go to YouTube, you can check out what it sounds like. She's so pretty. Anyway, here we go. We're gonna imagine ourselves. You know, in our little imaginations, we're going to imagine that we can see a fiery sunset over mountains and beaches. I don't have to imagine very long here because I grew up in Arizona. We have the best sunsets anywhere in the states. We have the best, and so we'll often get these very bright orange, dark orange, yellow sunsets that are so gorgeous.、Um, You just want to get out of your car and take a picture almost every night. They're really great. So that's what we're talking about. It's not that the sunset is on fire. 
No, the colors of the sunset look like the colors you see if you're watching a fire. The flames are often yellow, orange, dark red. Those colors. You're taking a stroll among rainbow-colored houses. That would be fun, pretty, and enjoy the taste of many cultures. When you see this word "stroll," guys, it's someone who's walking around. They are not in a hurry. They probably, or you know, they have some free time and they just want to, you know, walk around the neighborhood. Or maybe they do have a destination, but they're not hurrying there. They're taking their time. I love that word "stroll," and I like to stroll quite frequently. Take a stroll, or stroll around the lake, or something like that. So we're asking. You to imagine these places, fiery sunsets. Take a stroll、uh, among those rainbow-colored houses. Cool. You'll be, you know, next to them, between them,、mm-hmm. and you can also enjoy the taste of many cultures. Of course, South Africa has many different cultural groups there, and you can try all their different kinds of food. So, yes, indeed, South Africa has all this and more to offer. And in the TLC show Hayden Quinn, South Africa, you can journey along to discover the best food and fun. In this amazing country, so yeah, you might get some ideas yourself if you watch this show, and you might think, "Hey, it might be worth it to go to South Africa." They do have a different culture, so you would、uh, probably have a really fun time, a big adventure. South Africa has all of these things that we described in the first sentence and more. That's what they have there, and in the TLC show that's called Hayden Quinn, South Africa, you're going to journey along with this host、uh, to discover the best food and fun in this amazing country. It's kind of fun to actually go on an adventure with somebody using food as kind of your your guide.、Uh, I really miss that.、Uh, The chef that used to have the travel show、What、was his name Bourdain. Yeah, Anthony Bourdain. Anthony、yeah. Bourdain, who killed himself. That was so sad. He would always have fun stories and meet with really interesting people, and try the craziest kinds of foods.、Um, I'm not that adventurous with food. Are you, Tom? Are you game? Are you, you know,、mm, brave enough to try some of these? Not really. I've had、foods. some weird things before, like、oh. cow brain one time. And I don't think I've ever tried the.、Uh, Duck tongues here in Taiwan. I was fed monkey brain once、oh, in Hong Kong, and、Ooh. I decided not to eat that. I found out、mm. just before I, you know, put it in my mouth what it was. <laughs> oh no! Right, but、uh, I guess Hayden Quinn will try to discover lots of new and interesting things in South Africa, and he's also going to learn about not only its culture and food, but also its thriving, sustainable food communities. Cool. If something's thriving, that means it's、uh, doing quite well, and it's quite popular, and lots of people are crazy about it. And again, it's doing quite well, so it's thriving there. Successful.、It's、quite、yeah. successful indeed.、Mm. And sustainable means that you know you don't. Have to、uh, use resources too much. You can kind of recycle things、mm-hmm. and use them over and over again. We often talk about sustainable energy sources like、uh, solar and wind power and things like that. Those are sustainable, whereas you know、uh, gasoline is、uh, not sustainable because once you use it, it's gone. So they're talking about thriving, sustainable food communities.、Uh, maybe they have big gardens there, where after they use、uh, whatever they harvest in their gardens, they plant some more. And so、uh, it would be kind of fun to see how this thriving, sustainable、uh, food community actually functions. So Hayden begins his journey. In the city of Cape Town, it's probably the most famous city in South Africa. It's famous for its lively beaches and majestic mountains. When I see lively beaches, I really don't imagine people just you know lying on the sand getting a tan. There are probably、uh, volleyball games going on, barbecues happening,、uh, lots of music you can hear, people dancing. The beach is a fun place to go, just to you know. Spend some free time there with your families and your friends. So lively just means there's a lot of activity going on. It's not a place that's you know really quiet and peaceful. It's probably got a lot of action happening.
Yeah, it's、uh, they're pretty interesting beaches, of course, and、uh, of course, uh, uh, South Africa is known for its majestic mountains. Not、yeah. just mountains, but they're majestic. They're like majesties, like kings and queens and stuff like that. So right away, he heads to a market situated in an old biscuit mill,、cool. where business owners from around the area sell street foods and groceries made with all local ingredients. So in、uh, South Africa, I guess、uh, cookies. Are called biscuits,、mm -hmm. so it's an old biscuit mill, a place that used to manufacture biscuits or cookies there.、Mm -hmm. But the、uh, company, I guess, went out of business. But the building is still there, so local people have decided to make it a kind of market. So it's a market. It's located in this old biscuit mill, and business owners from around the area, you know, from、uh, people who own stores in that area, they come in there and they sell street foods and groceries. Using all local ingredients, so indeed、uh, they sell the street foods like we have here in Taiwan. You know,、yeah. you can buy in the market. I you love know, them. Lubientan street、mm -hmm. foods and groceries,、uh, other things you might need from a grocery store, basically. And they're using ingredients that are only made right there or are only grown there. They're not imported at all. It is totally local. That's great because it's more healthy if you can actually eat local produce. Produce, of course, refers to fruit and vegetables、uh, that we get either in the markets here, or the grocery stores. But yeah, if you can eat local ingredients, it's very healthy. Things usually taste better too because they can wait longer before they harvest things.、Um, I know our fruit isn't as sweet in the states as it is in Taiwan because、uh, we usually get. I'm from Arizona. We would get our fruit from other states a lot of the time. Even California, they'd have to pick things a little early. So if you can、uh, just, you know, make your dinners and your breakfast lunches with local ingredients, you're going to have tastier food. So before we move on to the next paragraph, guys, it's probably a good place to take a break. We're going to listen to our Chinese teacher. And then we're going to continue on with Hayden and、uh, on his adventure with him, at least. Hi, everyone. My name is Jenny. Today, we're going to look at a Xing Nan Chief who will take us to Nanfei. Not only to enjoy the beautiful scenery of this region, but to make good food. First, we're going to look at this Xing Nan Chief. His name is Hayden Quinn. Okay, if you're also interested in watching Master Chef. 这个澳洲版的这个比赛的话，你可能会对他有一点印象。这位帅哥呢，带着大家到南非。现在一开头的地方就看到这个地方有 rainbow colored houses。rainbow colored， 当然顾名思义就是七彩缤纷。好 ，color 本来是一个名词，但是呢，我们名词加一。D， 当然，这也就是一种所谓的复合形容词，你后面用来修饰其他的名词。再来往下看 ，Hayden 呢带着大家到南非来，这也是 TLC 旅游频道上面的一个新节目。好，这个节目的中文名称翻作《海灯的南非好滋味》。继续来看这个节目呢，我们就看它第一个到哪里呢？应该你听过这个城市叫 Cape Town。提到了 Cape Town， 我们中文翻成开普敦，这是他节目里头旅程的起点。那我们知道，在南非不但呢可以了解南非的文化、南非的食物，当然我们透过这个节目还可以认识什么。这里有一个词汇，大家应该要学起来。谈到永续食物社区，好，是。Sustainable food communities. 既然用到 sustainable， 就表示说能够注意到地球永续的这样子的概念。那我们先看到这个 Cape Town 这个城市来，它到哪里去呢？当然，这个地方风光明媚，但是更重要的是，它要到这里的一个市场，这是一个古老饼干工厂的一个市场。不过，重点在于这个句型里面。A market 
situated in an old basket mill. 这个 situated， 我们晓得，当然它表示坐落在哪里。而 situate 这个动词在使用上要注意的是，当你讲一个建筑物位于哪边 ，be situated in on at 某个地点。所以它是一个被动的哦。那如果我们要把这样子的形态变成分词片语来修饰，像这里是 market 的话，你要把它保留的是过去分词的 situated， 位于哪里？那它是在一个古老饼干工厂的一个市场。那出到了这个地方的老板们，他卖的东西都是用当地的食材制成的，街头小吃、食品杂货。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, let's continue our lesson for today. Again, Hayden Quinn is in South Africa, going to different places to try the food and to look at the local tourist sites and stuff like that. And this is all included in the TLC show, Hayden Quinn, South Africa. So where we left off, he was going to some kind of、uh, market that was、uh, opened in an old biscuit mill, and the ingredients there are all locally made from local business owners. Cool. So that sounds kind of exciting. There. So here in the third paragraph of today's lesson, it says, "Next, Hayden heads to the neighborhood of Boekhop." Okay, so that's a neighborhood in、uh, this part of South Africa. There, and despite originally being constructed for the Dutch by Indonesian prisoners and slaves, the colorful houses in this charming neighborhood are now owned by the builders' descendants. So that's real nice here.、Uh, of course,、uh, this is a neighborhood called Buakap, and despite, or even though it's true、mm -hmm. that these buildings were originally constructed by the Dutch,、uh, well, not exactly by the Dutch themselves, but by their slaves、yeah. and prisoners from Indonesia. Yeah.、Uh, so yeah, despite the fact that the Dutch made these people construct these buildings, it's still the descendants. Of those builders that own the colorful houses in this charming neighborhood, so I guess that's a sense of justice. Yeah. So the houses weren't actually, as Tom said,、uh, built by the Dutch by the, with with the hard sweat and work from their own hands.、Uh, they actually were built for them by their prisoners and slaves. So the builders' descendants. Now own the colorful houses. Your descendant guys、uh, are people that come after you. So, for example, Tom has a daughter. She's his descendant,、um, and the people that came before you in your family tree are called ancestors. So we have two different words. People after you are your descendants. My great great grandparents came from England, so I'm a descendant of theirs. Um, they were my ancestors. You see how that works. So I, I do agree with Tom. It's nice that the builders, the people who actually, you know, sweat blood and tears to build these houses, now own them. I'd like to see、uh, what they look like. I love the colorful houses. They have colorful houses in different parts of the the world. Not so much in America. But、uh, Sweden has very colorful houses. They do, yeah.、Indeed. Holland. Sometimes you'll see some color. It's kind of fun to see those types of houses. All you got to do is、uh, do a Google search、yeah. for Buekhop, yes, and、uh, press the images button, and you'll see what those houses probably look like.、Cool. So yes, they were at the beginning originally built for the Dutch. Construct is the same thing as build, and again they were built by. Prisoners of the Dutch from Indonesia and slaves owned by the Dutch, and the descendants own those houses now. And it's a very charming neighborhood with lots of colorful houses and great things to eat. Now here, resident and chef Zany Misbach teaches Hayden how to make babuti, 
an oven-baked dish containing eggs, milk, beef, and plenty of spices.、Mm. I'm not going to try to say that word again, but in any case, you get the idea. It's a local dish. It's baked in an oven, which is a kaohsiung in Chinese. It's just a box that you put something inside. The heat is contained inside the、mm -hmm. box, and it has as its ingredients eggs, milk, beef, and lots of spices. It sounds very tasty. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, I can imagine they would like spicy food there.、Um, yeah, and you bake it in an oven, huh?、Uh, I want to see a picture of this. I'd actually like to taste this. That has ingredients that aren't too scary for me. <laughs> Sometimes, ooh, the ingredients. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to eat a cricket today, or I don't want to eat a spider today. Thank you. Well, they're full of protein, so you might、uh, change your mind、Yuck. if you're tired after a day of hiking or something like、no. that. So that's what he did on one day, and the next day, Hayden visits where on Yezecht Farm, our city farm. City I hope, farm. Yeah. I hope I said that right here. <laughs> It's a farm that's in this town here. Where on Yezekt, around Yezekt, or something. I hope I said it right. And what is this city farm? Well, it's a large volunteer-based、hmm. community garden. A volunteer, of course, is somebody who works for free. You get lots of volunteers at the hospital, for example, helping you find your doctor and stuff like that. And、uh, it's volunteer-based here. It's a community garden that is based on the work of volunteers. Nobody gets paid to grow things in this garden. It's great. I like this idea.、Um, this is actually happening in other places around the world as well.、Um, even in New York City, in my neighborhood, there was a community garden, and it was a, a small, small piece of land, and we'd all go in there and, you know, take out the weeds and、uh, feed things, and it was kind of fun. So after collecting some zucchini there. Zucchini is a type of vegetable. It's long,、uh, looks just like a long, fat stick. You could say. Sometimes I have a harder time finding zucchini in Taiwan. I have to go to the import stores typically. I do like zucchini, zucchini because I use it as、uh, I cut it. So it looks like noodles, and I use it for spaghetti.、Um, but that's zucchini. It can be green, yellow. Usually, if it's yellow, it might be called squash. But yeah,、zucchini. it's kind of a squash, isn't、yeah. it? But it's yeah,、green. definitely. Yeah,、mm -hmm. uh, so、I think Hayden, it's a si hulu in English. I think、uh, in Chinese,、uh, I think. Hayden takes a cable car to the top of Table Mountain, one of the new seven wonders of nature, and that offers a spectacular view of Cape Town. First of all, these new seven wonders.、Um, it was kind. It was a A campaign that they started in 2007, and they let people vote around the world, and they got a lot of people voting online.、Uh, the new seven wonders include the Amazon,、uh, Halong Bay in Vietnam, Iguazu Falls, Argentina and Brazil,、uh, Jeju Island in South Korea, Komodo in Indonesia,、um, someplace in Philippines, Puerto Princesa Underground River. And Table Mountain, and so of course those in South Africa were very proud. Of course they are. They're proud, and they're also happy that that's going to attract lots of tourists. Yeah. And their money. So still, it's worth going there. You can climb on top of Table Mountain and get a spectacular view of Cape Town, just like the view you can get of Taipei if you look out from Wanhua Daishue、mm -hmm. on Yamingshan. But、uh, in this particular case, it's a spectacular view. Spectacular means it's really great, especially. For your eyes, look at the word "spectacle." There, spectacular spectacles are things for your eyes. We used to call、glasses. them. Yeah, yeah, spectacles, and not you never heard the word glasses or eyeglasses. They were called your spectacles. Right, so it's a great view of Cape Town, and there he does some mountain top cooking.、Mm -hmm. I guess maybe it's better to cook on top of a mountain because of the lower、uh, air pressure or something like that. So the boiling point of water is、uh, lower, I think. So maybe you can offer some new cooking possibilities. And what he's preparing there is a Mediterranean style yellow. Tail sashimi dish、mm. with olive oil and some fresh vegetables. Again, including his zucchini. So it's in the style of Mediterranean cooking, you know, Dijon High Mediterranean style.、Mm -hmm. Yellow tail. I guess that's a kind of bird or something. I'm guessing. It's a fish. Oh, it's a fish. Okay. Yeah, sashimi is definitely raw fish. Okay, so it's kind of like、uh, Japanese food, but、yeah. in the Mediterranean style. And he's got olive oil in there, fresh vegetables,、mm. zucchini. Oh. 
Oh, it tastes. Oh, I, I can just imagine eating it right now. I'm not.、Oh. A, I'm not a big fan of sashimi, although I know it's very popular here.、Uh, I like to cook my my fish when I eat it. Yeah, so interesting. So, I think just being on top of that mountain with that view. Was stunning and inspiring to him. I don't think it was because it really helped the water boil slower or whatever. Oh, just a guess. Yeah. I think it was guess, just、yeah. beautiful.、Mm. Yeah. So yellowtail is a type of snapper. It says interesting.、Okay. Or a yellowtail flounder. That's another type of fish. I've never seen a yellowtail though. You might want to watch the show just to see what it's like. I'm sure if he's a chef, it's probably pretty tasty. Yep. And as y'all know. Olive oil, vegetables—these are all really good for you. So it sounds like a healthy dish he's making. So finally, Hayden enjoys a beautiful sunset at Camps Bay. That's the location, and it's、uh, described as being the perfect end or a perfect end to his stay in South Africa's mother city. That mother city, of course, is Cape Town. Right now, we're going to listen to our Chinese teacher one more time, and then we'll be back to wrap it up. 我们继续来看，跟着型男主厨游南非。刚刚呢，先从 Cape Town 开始，接下来他到了另外一个地方。另外这个地区，他这里有之前印尼的犯人努力为荷兰人所建造的这个建筑。可是现在这里呀、啊，发现原来啊，在这个社区里面有很多的房子的拥有人，就是当时盖这个地区的人，他们的后裔。那我们来看看最有趣的是什么呢？还是要谈吃的。他们要做一种东西，一种食材，这个叫做 b o b o d y 那这个 b o b o d y 它是一个用烤箱来烤制的菜肴，里面有鸡蛋、有牛奶、有牛肉，还有大量的香料。我们来看，在 b o b o d y 的后面有个逗点。这个豆点后面就有一连串 ，I an oven baked dish containing eggs, milk, beef, and plenty of spices. 哇，这么长一串，其实说穿了就是在解释给你听，什么叫 bubbly。当然，我们如果光看 bubbly 这个字是不懂的，后面用的豆点接的，也就是一个所谓的同位语，整串的解释说明都是用来说明这到底是什么菜肴。下面这一段离开了刚刚这个地方，我们再往下 ，Hayden 带我们到另外一个都市农场。好，到这个都市农场呢，他采了一些节瓜。哎，节瓜的英文 zucchini。他到这个地方还带我们看到这里有所谓的世界七大奇景。哇，原来有一个地方叫 Table Mountain。好，看到了 Table Mountain 豆点。后面有一个 one of the new seven wonders of nature. 其实，逗点隔开的这个也是同位语，就是要说明什么是 Table Mountain， 它有什么样的样貌，它是新七大景观之一。好，啊，这个同位语之后，它再接一个 which， 当然也很简单的理由，就是专有名词，后面一定是非限定用法，你用 which。在这个关系子句来修饰，加以补充。接下来，在这里看美景，当然还是要谈它的料理。他准备了一道菜，这是地中海风味的湿鱼生鱼片。好，大家看到的 sashimi， 这应该就知道是吃什么了。在这里呢，记得刚刚他在都市农场采的节瓜吗？在这里，他把节瓜。纳入了他的料理内，然后就带着大家欣赏美丽的夕阳。今天我们的讲解就到这边结束，我们下次见。That's it, guys. We hope you'll join us for day two of our TLC unit and see what other adventures Hayden Quinn manages to、uh, get up to. So that's in our next program for English Digest. I'm Stephanie, and I'm Tom. Goodbye. Bye.